boiled linseed oil. <clears throat> if you've ever seen a Wrangler Star video, you know what happens next. The end grain is <clears throat> where it's drinking it up like a straw. So an exposed end grain down here. <laughs> See, she came out pretty cool. I love the the little contrast here. <clears throat> this is all. One solid piece mulberry. Um, if you've been watching the videos, you know that. I actually cut this off my tree in the front yard. So. I think it'll make a nice little mallet for me. <clears throat> I posted some pictures on the Facebook last night. There's the finished product. We're gonna keep oil in this, you know. What's it? Once a day for a week, once a week for a month, once a month for a year. to show you um, this is what I was using whenever I made that mallet on my chisels and stuff um, if you can see the bark is chewed up here obviously but this this is a perfect shape um, so this really makes me think that this mallet might might do well um, <clears throat> I don't I don't know how hard the mulberry is um, seems to do pretty well though I know cutting through it takes take some uh, some time on the bigger ones um I actually been trimming my tree in the front yard um completely by hand and uh you know i don't have a chainsaw or anything like that so i uh, just got one of those big saws on a pole and uh really works out your shoulders so i have a little brush pile in the front yard um just some different like logs and sticks and stuff like that um, so just went and took a couple pieces off there if you feel like you need a good shoulder exercise, just go saw some wood. <laughs> this is the uh, little layout knife that I made. Um, <clears throat> if you want to know how to make a, vi uh, a knife like this, go watch the video from Paul Sellers. Um, it's a great video. Super simple. You don't need any crazy tools. Um, I do have <clears throat> a bench grinder, then, which I use to kind of shape this. Um, because this was actually super hard steel. I tried to just file it. Um, but it just wasn't working. Um, so, <clears throat> went ahead. This is one of those old kitchen knives. Let me see, I got another one that kind of similar to here. Uh, you see this one, I've already cleaned up the handle a little bit. Um, I just kind of plan to resharpen those. These are some that my grandpa gave me. Um, you know, you know the ones. You see them at the old yard sales and the handles are like so gray and like tan. Or they just look real gross. Um, so, <laughs> crazy with a little bit of you know work see how nice that brass and right here cleaned up these little rivets or pins I guess I guess you don't rivet them so <clears throat> safety first
wasn't super sharp, but I would hate to uh, cut myself while I'm doing this. So now I can see here. This is uh, the blade hasn't been polished or anything. Um, I'm actually just on this craftsman. Uh, <clears throat> this is one of their utility sharpeners. Um, I just got the water bath underneath, real slow. Um, works great. Got it on eBay. So you see, we got this edge profiled a little bit thinner than uh, than it was before. So I'll go in here with some wet sandpaper. And I'll polish this blade up a little bit, make it look nice. But that same dark stain that I did on the handle for the mallet over here, um, did here. This is what my, my first little test of it to see how it works. You see, I sanded this one up a little bit more, so you can just kind of see the dark grain, and I think it looks really nice. So this will be my new. Layout knife. Uh, and if you guys want me to make a video of that, just throw a comment. In the